Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some crazy custom Lambda functions that are going to change the way you think about Excel and expand your mind about what's possible in Excel these days. If you wanna take a look at some of these custom Lambda functions, you can download the file with the link in the description below. Otherwise, let's get started. The first custom Lambda we're gonna take a look at is the flag function. So this is going to allow us to convert a two digit alpha code for a country into an image of the flag for that country. So here we've got a list of countries and their two digit alpha code, and we can use the flag function to convert those into images of flags. And when we press enter, we've got our country flags. Now the flag function has a few options. So if we edit this formula, the second argument allows us to specify the size of the image that's returned. And by default, this is gonna be 100 pixels, but we can customize this. For example, let's try out five pixels. And we get our flag image of five pixels in size. And here it's stretched out to fill the cell. Let's change that back to 100. And our last argument here is the style of the image that's returned. And so for example, by default, the style is zero. That's gonna return this image. Let's try one. And we're gonna get this style of image. And we've got various different options. Let's try this one. And here we get a circular flag returned. So that's the flag function, definitely something that could be very useful for creating dashboards in Excel. The next custom Lambda function we're gonna take a look at is the QR function. So this one is going to allow us to convert any data into a QR code. So for example, here we've got some links to a website my website, and we can convert these into QR codes so that when someone scans the QR code, they're gonna to go to that web page. So we can use the QR function and give it the data that we want to convert into a QR code. And when we press enter, we get our QR code returned. Now the QR function has an optional argument, and this is just going to be the size of the QR code image that we wanna return. So by default, this is going to be 250 pixels, but we can choose whatever size we want. So here we've got a 10 pixel QR code image. And let's change that up to 500. And here's a larger one so that if we expand the size of our cell, then it's going to be still a clear image so there you go, that's the QR function for converting data into a QR code. The next custom Lambda function we're gonna take a look at is going to allow us to get a three-day weather forecast for any location. So this is going to require that you get an API key from weatherapi.com. So you can sign up for free and get your free API key. And then we can use the weather function with that to return a weather forecast. So this has two arguments, and that's a location that we want to return the weather forecast for. And then the API key. So here I've got it in this cell. And when we press enter, we get our three day weather forecast. So here we've got a high temperature and a low temperature for the next three days. And of course we can change our location and get a revised weather forecast. The next custom Lambda function we're gonna take a look at is going to allow us to search for movie posters. So this is also going to require that you sign up for a free API key at omdbapi.com. And once you've got that, you can use the movie poster function to return an image of the movie poster based on a search term. So this has two arguments the thing we wanna search for, and the API key, which I've got here in this cell. And when we press enter, we get our movie poster. 
Let's try a few more. So there you go. That's the movie poster function that's going to return a image of a movie poster. The next custom Lambda function we're going to take a look at is going to allow us to create a progress chart inside of a cell. So we can use the radial gauge function to do this. And this just takes a single argument, which is the value as a number from 0 to 100, representing a percentage. So here we've got 20%. And when we press Enter, we get that radial gauge chart at 20%. Let's change this number here. And it's going to update to 60% now. The next custom Lambda function we're going to take a look at is the calendar function. So this one is going to allow us to get a month calendar based on a date. Let's check it out. So this one just takes a date value. And when we press Enter, we get that month's calendar. So here you can see that January 2025 starts on a Wednesday. And we've got 31 days and it ends on Friday. Let's check out the next month. So let's change this to February and press enter. And now we've got February's month calendar. The next custom Lambda function we're going to take a look at is going to allow us to append ranges based on the column names. So Excel does now have a VStack function. And this is going to allow us to do something similar, but it doesn't account for where the columns are. So for example, if we try and append these two ranges with the VStack function, then you're going to notice that column one and column three have been appended together. And here we've got column two and column one. But instead, we can use the append function to take care of the columns for us. So the append function allows us to select two ranges. And when we press enter, it's going to append those together based on the column names. So here we've got our column headers. And then we can see that column one, those values here, have been appended to column one in our second range here. So we get those values underneath column one as well. Now the append function also has an optional parameter. So here, because our second range doesn't have a column two, we get some NA values. So we can pad those with whatever we want with our optional argument. So for example, we can use an empty string to pad them and press enter and now they appear empty. The next custom Lambda function is actually a series of custom Lambda functions and they're going to allow us to play a chess game based on a list of moves. So here we've got a single formula that's generating our chess board here. So if we expand our formula bar, you can see that we've got two custom Lambda functions here, a chess.initial function, and this just sets up the board in the initial position. And as we move through our chess moves, the chess.current function is going to display the current state of our chessboard based on our move list. And as we go through our list of moves here, you can see that our chessboard updates accordingly to display the current state of the game. These custom chess formulas are available in my advanced formula course. And if you want to check that out, there's a link to the course below where you can find more details. And also you can use the coupon code chess30. And the first 50 people who use that are going to get 30% off of the course. The next custom Lambda function we're going to take a look at is the life function. So this is based on John Conway's Game of Life. So this is a cellular automation where a grid of cells evolves through iterations based on simple rules. So each cell can be alive or dead. 
and in this case an alive cell is represented with a 1 and a dead cell is represented with a 0 and its state in the next generation is going to depend on the number of live neighbors that the cell currently has. So the state of each cell can be determined by these four simple rules here in the next generation. And here we can use the life.current function to iterate through and see the current state of the game. So here our life.current function is based on this initial state and then the current number of generations that we've iterated through. So in this case, we're starting at zero. And then we can iterate through by increasing that number. And in this case, this initial state, eventually everyone dies. This formula is also available in the advanced formula course. If you're interested, check out the link below. And the first 50 people to use the coupon code LIFE30 will also receive 30% off. The next custom Lambda function we're going to take a look at is the random chess puzzle function. So this one is going to return a random chess puzzle. So this one requires no arguments. And when we press enter, then we get a title for our chess puzzle. We get the actual chess puzzle. And then we get a link to that puzzle on the chess.com website. Now, unfortunately, inside of a Lambda function, the hyperlink function doesn't work. So we can't create a clickable link, but you can copy and paste this into your browser to get to this chess puzzle on chess.com. Now we also have an optional argument and this is going to allow us to show the solution. So by default, this is going to be false, but we can set this as true. And then down at the bottom, we're going to be able to see the solution to the puzzle. The next custom Lambda function we're going to take a look at is the YouTube thumbnail function. And this one is going to return the thumbnail image from a YouTube video based on that video's URL. So for this, you're going to need an API key from linkpreview.net. So you can sign up there and get your free API key. And once you've got that, you can use the YouTube thumbnail function. So this has two arguments. The first is the URL of the YouTube video that you wanna get the thumbnail from. And then we also need the API key. So I've got it here in this cell. And when we press enter, we get the YouTube thumbnail image in Excel. Now this is also going to be able to get a logo from a website. So here we're gonna give it this list of URLs. And again, our API key, and then we get the logo from that website. So there you have it, 11 amazing custom Lambda functions in Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.